Welcome back. It's your boy Fresh. And I'm Mary, and we are a couple of nerds. So the intro you watched was a little. We've worked too much this week, and we got to go to Disney next week, and very tired. So, welcome to the Saga Genesis, October 1989. We are gonna make alcoholic Palmers. So we got sweet tea vodka. Go uh, two ounces. Boom. Boom. And then limoncello from Italy. Two ounces. Glasses. Okay, Tomorrow let me know. Palmer. Rest in peace. There was still some ice in there. It's quite delicious. More lemony, but I definitely taste the tea. Okay. The real gamers all have the same favorite console. The Sega Genesis. Is it a surprise? God loves Sega so much, he named the first book in the Bible, Genesis. Genesis. 16-bit sports action. After all, the Genesis does what Nintendo don't. Gotta go. Hey guy, you're the first serious gamer I've seen all morning. Check this out, brand new 16-bit Super Nintendo with Super Mario World. Wow! Oh, what's this one? Oh, this is a Sonic the Hedgehog from Sega Genesis. Hey. In 2024, the Genesis turns 35 years old. Close your eyes and imagine yourself 35 years ago. Personally, I was swimming around in my dad's ball sack while Mary was wrapping up her sophomore year of college. Life was so much simpler back then. Don't you wish you could go back in time and relive those years? Not here. But this time, your parents are loaded. Like crazy super rich. They decided rather than showing you love and affection, they will buy you each Sega game as it's released. That is a win-win for both parties. In this series, we will travel 35 years into the past each month where we will collect, review, and rank every North American licensed Sega Genesis game ever made, except for Outback Joey. Powder toast, man. F. Outback Joey. To save himself, he launches a right hand to the kangaroo's snout. And all of Australia, for that matter. The Sega Genesis has blast processing. Super Nintendo doesn't. We will be using the generally accepted list of games and their release dates. Did we get one wrong? Seven, no. Shut up, nerd! Welcome to the Saga Genesis. And, uh, what if you don't have blast processing? 35 years ago was October 1989. Let's see what happened. In 1989, October 13th, Look Who's Talking was released. Mm. Everybody knows that movie. Yeah. Um, on the 17th of October, oddly enough, there was an earthquake in San Francisco that was a 6.9 magnitude, and it delayed the third game of the World Series. Yeah. And unfortunately, it killed 67 people. Which is not as bad as delaying the World Series. <laughs> uh, on the 20th, Nine Inch Nails released Pretty Little Hate Machine. Ooh. Or Pretty Hate Machine. Sorry, not Pretty Little. It's just Pretty Hate Machine. Okay. Um, and on the 24th, the World Series Game 3 was played. So, it only took them like... Oh, so they came back a week later. Yeah. Okay. All Bad. Right. <clears throat> so we got two games this month that came out in October of 89. Let, uh... So the first one is Arnold Palmer Tournament Golf.
Um, its Japanese title is Ozaki no Michi no Ma Super Masters. It's developed and published by Sega. Its composer is Takuhiko Uwabu. Sorry, I probably butchered that one. <laughs> the genre is sports and it plays one to two players. So uh, this game has fantastic opening music and character names. When you're picking your character name, the music in there is, is awesome. Uh, and the gameplay music is nice and chill, which fits for a golf game. Uh, there are two play modes, Tournament and Practice. Tournament mode consists of 12 rounds of 18 holes. There are three different courses, US, Japan, and Great Britain. Finishing in the top 50% of a tournament increases your skill level, so it's got a little bit of a leveling system like an RPG. You can purchase better caddies and clubs with your prize money. Oh. Winning first place gets you a free upgrade. The game does not have a save feature, but it does include a password system that is only 36 characters long. <laughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> the swing meter has two sides. The first is for power, and the second for height. The game does not have hints for non-golfers. It will not show you how far the clubs hit or the flight path of a ball for hooks and slices. Putting is probably the hardest thing about the game. There's no wiggle room for error. Extremely short putts can also be difficult because you have to double tap the A button so fast that because once the power meter starts to go up, it can't go back down. So you got to hit it super fast on those tiny putts. Sometimes you'll hit it so hard, it goes over the hole and pops out on the other side. Yeah. Well, that happens in real life, too. So what happens if you get a shitty caddy? So the caddies will help you, like, the beginning caddy kind of says, hey, the hole is 450 yards away. And then you need to determine what club to use best in that situation future caddies will have more information about maybe you should hook it maybe you should slice it uh, the winds coming from this way so aim a little bit further to the left and, and so on and so forth oh. and I think they also give you ideas on better the best club to use in that particular situation okay so they give you advice that's right so we got another uh, cover art battle so, uh, there's North America and PAL. Yep. Um, against Japan. Mm -hmm. So, there's the, of course, Arnold Palmer on the cover of his uh, own game. And then there's Supermasters in Japan. Right. So, that is the Osaki, that guy there. That is him. Okay. So, the other name. So, I think the thought process being, hey, Maybe not a ton of Japanese people know who Arnold Palmer is, so we'll use one of our local guys instead. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so I know which one I like better, but I was curious about what you thought. Uh, of course, the Ar Arnold Palmer one. At least it's not a cartoon, you know. So it's a, it's a real depiction. It's a real picture. Right. Um, and uh, it's a good picture of him. The other one, it's got like these interesting cartoon characters, and then just a guy smiling. Yeah, I I, I thought. The Japanese one weirdly looked way more cluttered than the U.S. and PAL region, or North American and PAL region. So we will go ahead and give that one to NA slash PAL. Okay, and our last game. Ghouls and Ghosts. Oh, jeez. The Japanese title is Daimakaimura. <laughs> Translation, Great Demon World Village. Developed and published by Sega on loan from Capcom. Interesting. Designers, Tokuro Fujiwara, Shinichi Yoshimoto, Hisashi Yamamoto. The composer was Tamayo 
Kawamoto, and the genre is action platformer. It plays one to two players. So that plays one to two players is a little deceiving. Um, yeah. It, you don't play together. Um, it's a switch on and off like right. Super Mario. Yeah, it's like the original Super Mario where it, the two aren't related at all. So I almost wanted to call this strictly a one player game, but I did. You could pass, it's easier to pass the controller back and forth than it is to have a second player. So Ghouls and Ghosts, a sequel to the 1986 NES game Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, it was also released in the arcade, and that's how it, that one was developed by Capcom, but when Sega wanted to port it over to the Genesis, they made some adjustments. So that's why they say it's developed and published by Sega, even though it is a Capcom game. In this game, you take control of the knight Sir Ar Arthur to once again defeat the evil Loki, or Lucifer in Japan, huh. uh, and his legion of demons to restore the souls of his beloved princess Prin Prin and everyone in the kingdom. Interesting. This time you can shoot in four directions instead of two. You can throw directly upward and downward well, you can throw upward at any point in time, but you can also jump in the air and throw straight down. Okay. This game also introduced the gold armor, which allows you to do a special maneuver by holding A and charging it. Each weapon has its own special move. The game has seven weapons. Lance, Big Axe, Super Sword, Fire Water, Discus, Dagger, and Psycho Cannon. <laughs> I want the Psycho Cannon. <laughs> there are six stages. You must beat stages one through five twice before you can go to stage six. That's ridiculous. That is very ridiculous. So when you get to the end of stage five... You start all over again? A... I believe it's like a, a ghostly vision pops up and says, Oh, you need it, this Psycho Cannon to win. Go back to the very beginning, do it all over, and get that Psycho Cannon. Well, what if, what if you get the Psycho Cannon the first time? Around? You cannot get it. It's not available. Well, that's dumb. <laughs> they wanted you to play it twice, much, much like the first one. You get hit, If you get hit once, you lose your armor. If you get hit without armor, you die. Oh, yeah, you're on around in your underwear. <laughs> yes. You get to keep your current weapon when you die, which is positive and negative sometimes. Uh, except for the Psycho Cannon, you will lose the Psycho Cannon. The Psycho Cannon is required to defeat Loki. It's the only weapon that can defeat him. This is a brutally difficult game. However, you get infinite continues and restart at the most recent checkpoint. So you don't have to start all the way over from the beginning of the stage. Uh, basically, this is a checkpoint to checkpoint game. Just get to that next checkpoint, run as fast as you can, jump, dodge, weave your In way your through. In your underwear. In your underwear, don't die. <laughs> um, but having infinite continues, I think, evens that out. Most games, you'd only get you know one or two continues, and then it would just be game over screen. This one, you can go forever. And this game has one banger of a soundtrack. I love that song. Uh, and those are two games released in October. That's it. That is Not it. Much. That is they it. were too focused on Halloween. That's right. Well, this had, we at least got one spooky game. Yeah, the other know, one's a sports Ghouls and Ghosts. Game. What we also have is a new King of the Mountain. <laughs> and the Sega game rankings. The new number one is Ghouls and Ghosts. That game... Although it's brutally difficult and replaying the first five stages is kind of a little janky. It is so fluid, smooth, beautiful, sounds great. I think it plays a lot better than, than Altered Beast. You still got the big... I still love Altered Beast. That's, <laughs> That's the number two. It's fine. Ah! <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then I put Arnold Palmer fifth. So I thought... I feel like Last Battle is sort of a, a benchmark game where it had a lot of great ideas but really poor gameplay. Mm -hmm. And all, Arnold Palmer is... The gameplay is really smooth. Um, the putting 
is a little difficult. I can get to the green typically for a birdie putt, and then sometimes I got to putt four or five times. We're talking 1989. <laughs> so, uh, but I, I think that so far is, is the best sports title. Uh, so we also have so the cover art battle. It is all knotted up at two apiece. So, I know a lot of people thought Japan was going to run away with this. Mm -hmm. And typically, I do agree that Japanese art is a little better. But you may not have thought of sports titles helping to close that gap. We've got better sports here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't have sumo. I feel like I could, I could get into sumo. Yeah. yeah. If, maybe if I keep training, I could get big enough and do some sumo. <laughs> Well, let us know down in the comments if you've played these. What do you think of our rankings? And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> your mouth. I guess something you can do with your mouth later. Shut. <laughs> Georgie got himself a girlfriend. Yeah. Good for him. No. These girls out here ain't loyal, Georgie. Yeah, he's got to go through a couple heartbreaks. I didn't download it and open it. That's fine. Okay. Ready? I thought this was what ours looked like. This is yes. the one from Japan. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like Japan, the text should be over here, but. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Ooh, I scratched my nose. Okay. Are you, what are you doing? I scratched my nose on accident. It was it's a little itchy and I scratched a little too hard. I think my nail got caught on my nose. Is it bleeding? Mm -mm. Okay, we're fine. What's the matter with you? You want to put this at the end of the video? Right? <laughs>